Hello, my name is Devil Ray. Welcome back to Cyber Warrior Studios. I know it's been a hot minute since I've, up I've uploaded to the channel. Has some things going on in life, but I've gotten taken care of. And I now have bandwidth to get back to creating YouTube videos for you guys. Um, today, we're actually going to be talking about uh, password cracking. Um, specifically, we're going to look at using Hashcat and HashID or Hash Identifier in order to try and crack a password hash that you may encounter either in a pen test. CTF or just out in the wild if you're doing bug bounties if you're trying to um, do reverse engineering on application or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and start out I'm gonna show you what we have here in our file so we have our password hash uh, we have our password hash right here so this is what we got to do in order to or this is what we have to crack for today's video um, and then if uh, on the other file we have the rocky.txt file so first things first is what we have to do is uh, there we go we have to copy uh, and then go to hash identifier and so hash identifier or hash id allows uh, is a tool that you can use to try and get best guess or best case scenario on what a hash or value encrypted in um and in this case it's in um possible hashers of sha 512 or whirlpool uh least possible are the hmac versions of those two um usually from my small time experience with hash id uh usually the first one is the one that you want to go with um usually the second one or third one isn't quite the one that you want to have running so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that make a little bit of space so we're gonna look at hashcat help file or the help menu all right so as you can see it pulled up a whole bunch of information um first we're gonna start out with a couple of examples uh so we can know what we're looking for uh, for today's video we're going to look at the word list attack mode uh example because that actually fits pretty well with what we're trying to break into so of course you got the hashcat to invoke hashcat tool you got the attack mode of zero which if you look up here attack modes right here you got mode zero which is straight which is just going to be straight comparison uh hasher is out of password if it matches cool if it doesn't moves on uh you got the hash mode m which in this case you use 400 hash modes this is going to be the long list of hash types that you have out in the field as of right now but you can see there's still quite a bit so we're going to start out at the top so from hash id we had uh the only thing that we got was uh sha 512 all right so in our case, it can either be SHA-2-512 or SHA-3-512. For the sake of the video, I did already test this out. Um, so I do know for a fact that SHA-3-512 is the one that's going to work. Um, don't know about SHA-2-512. Someone out there wants to try it, let us know down in the comments. Not 100% sure, but uh, I know for a fact SHA-3 will. So we're going to run with that. Um, so what we need to do is take note of the mode identifier, which is 17600. So now we can go all the way back to our bottom. So now we got, again, our password hash file and then our rocky.txt dictionary file. So now we can go hashcat, hash attack mode of zero, dash m of 17600 with our password hash and our rocky.txt file. So, now we're gonna hit enter. It's gonna go through, and you saw how pretty quick that is. It already ended it. As you can see here, it's showing cracked. All right, so let's start from the beginning, kind of go over what happened. So here it is, kind of starting up. I selected my AMD Ryzen as the mode or the device to use as cracking. Uh, applicable optimize applied. I'm not 100% sure. I fully dived in a hash just yet. I just didn't get it to work. 
So I do know this right here is a pretty serious thing to keep an eye on. Um because when you're cracking passwords, it does create a lot of heat. Um and it can fry your systems. Uh so in a VM environment you don't really have to worry all too much because you can limit the hardware. But if you're running bare metal like I sometimes do, uh this is something that you want to make sure you have installed before you start cracking passwords. Otherwise, you can start frying devices or peripherals in your computer. All right, so uh, looks like we have a dictionary cache hit. So it loaded up all of our dictionaries. Here's our hash, and then there it is. That right there is our plain text password. That is how, once you see that, that's how you know that you've cracked the password that and also that is correct uh, hash name is sha3512 uh, there's the target for the hash it took quite literally no time at all in order to get into it so that is how a that's a basic overview and uh, demonstration on how to use uh, hashcat and hash id in order to one figure out how to or I figure out what the uh, what mode the password hash is done in, and then two, how to use Hashcat in order to crack that password hash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon. I am not the only one that uploads. You have uh, Cyber Warrior himself who uploads for uh, Security Happy Hour on Fridays, which he just got a brand new setup. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. Um, and down below uh, in the comments, see or type down below in the comment section on if there's anything that you want to see tool wise on uh, that you want me to go over. Uh, I'm more than happy to learn a tool or go over a tool to help you guys figure out something. Uh, until next time, thank you so much and have a great time.